Good morning, friends. It's me, Miss Betsy, and I'm coming to you today to bring you our Sunday School lesson. Our story today is called Thomas Believes from John chapter 20, verses 24 through 31. We'll get started with our Bible story. In this Bible, our Spark Bible, it's called Doubting Thomas. Because if you're someone that doesn't believe something, then you're probably doubting it. That's what that means. The disciples were hiding in a house the night before Jesus rose from the dead. They were afraid. Bam! They locked all the doors. Jesus came and stood by them. Peace be with you, he said. The disciples looked up in surprise. Jesus showed them his hands and his side so that they would know it was him. The disciples were very happy. Again, Jesus said to them, peace be with you. God has sent me to you. Now it's your turn to go tell the rest of the world about me. Jesus breathed on them in a very special way. He said, with this breath, I will always be in your hearts, even when I am in heaven. You now have the power to do the things that I've asked you to do. Thomas was the only disciple that was not there that night. When he got back to the house, the others excitedly told him about Jesus visiting. I don't believe you, Thomas said. I'll believe when I can touch Jesus' wounds myself. A week later, Thomas and the other disciples were in the same house. Jesus came again and stood with them. Peace be with you, he said to them. Thomas, Jesus commanded, come here, give me your hands. Put your finger on the wounds in my hand. Put your hand by the wound in my side. Do not doubt any more. It's time for you to believe. Thomas's eyes popped. Look at how big his eyes got. My Lord and my God, he exclaimed. Jesus answered him, you believe because I'm here with you and you've seen me. Think of those who have not seen me, but believe in me anyway. You should believe even when you cannot see it for yourself. The end. Now, Miss Carolyn is sending out an email to all of your families or your grown-ups that have some resources that you can use and you can hopefully print off. The first one here is a coloring page. And this has some pictures of different things. We see the palms, we see the lily flower, we see the cup and the bread, um, we see Jesus, okay? And you can color these. And as you color them, you can talk with your grown-up about the story that those uh, correspond to. There's also a game that's coming home to you. It'll be on a piece of paper, but I'll show you what I made out of it. This is called an I Believe Flip Stick. Okay, so you're gonna say something, and if you think you believe it, you say, I believe. And if you think you don't believe it, you make a question mark. You make a face that shows that you're doubting that. Hmm, I'm not sure that that's really the truth. Okay, so maybe you'll say, I believe that Jesus is alive. <gasps> I believe. Okay, maybe you'll make up something silly that doesn't make any sense and that you've never seen and then you'll make a question mark face. So you can take turns with your grown-ups and your brothers and sisters playing that game. One more thing that's coming home um, in your email is our Loving God, Loving Neighbor page about Thomas Believes. So this gives us more of the story and it has some body motions we have to use. So one of them says we have to look surprised. So you make a surprised face. Um, another one says jump up and down. I know you can jump up and down. Another one says shake your head no. Maybe another one says believe, believe, believe. So your grown up will be able to walk you through that. And then on the back, we have four more activity ideas that you can try with your families during the week as you think about our story about Thomas and how Thomas believed. Have you ever had a time in your life where you told somebody something exciting that happened and they didn't believe you? How did that make you feel? I think I might feel a little bit sad or disappointed that they didn't believe me. They wanted to wait and see that it was true. Maybe I got something new and special like a new bike or a new puppy. And I told my friends at school 
and they didn't believe me and they wanted to wait and see the bike or see the puppy or see a picture. Um, so that's kind of how what happened with Jesus and Thomas. Thomas said, I don't know that that's true. I watched him die. I know that he's not alive right now. If, if it's really true, I'll get to see it. So this story helps us to remember that when you are doubting and when you're not sure you believe, Jesus is still with you. He understands your doubt and he's going to walk you through it and stay with you the whole time. I hope that you have a wonderful week. We miss you all so much. We can't wait to be together again. And when we are together, the weather will be wonderful. We'll be able to go outside, uh, spend time in the garden. So you all have a wonderful week and I will be in touch with you soon.